Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel if you're new, and welcome back if you're not. A lot of players in New World Eternum are finally starting to hit max level, so I thought it would be a good time to discuss what's next to come in New World Eternum. The first things I'm going to go over are the things that are pretty much already confirmed. Next are the things that we can speculate to come in the future. And the last thing we're going to talk about are things that I personally would love to see put into the game. First things first that are pretty much already confirmed by a clip I'm about to show you is the new OPR map. OPR is Outpost Rush. It's a 20 verse 20 pvp game mode and in the clip i'm about to show scott basically already confirmed that we're about to get a new map or a new game mode coming in the near future here's that clip of scott talking about it i apologize in advance for the video quality this is actually the video quality that's uploaded to youtube here's the clip so with new world Itanum being an mmorpg and moreover a live service game how do you intend to make community feedback an important part of your development cycle? Without question. 100%. Um, like right off the bat, like, like I, I mentioned this to you, I think at lunch today, that we're, you know, we already have uh, some more PvP ideas that are in the works that we're working on. So I mean, it's supposed to be deeper. Okay. Mm -hmm. you but it, but yeah. that's something that we're getting asked about. Like, like I see a lot of requests for that from the PC audience. And this is interesting if it's going to be like a new game mode. I would really be interested in seeing like a capture the flag game mode, but kind of like how World of Warcraft did theirs. If anybody has ever played World of Warcraft, you would know that they have a capture the flag game mode in their PvP area. And in this capture the flag pvp game mode once you've got the enemy flag you cannot mount up you must run on foot the flag back to your base and defend it you must get both your flag and the enemy's flag at your base at one time in order to capture it and i'm really hoping that new world eternum pulls inspiration from them and adds kind of something like that into the game it'd be really cool to see pure runner classes pure flag runners and, and people building classes specifically around that that's pretty much the only thing Thing that we have right now that pretty hard confirmed so let's move on to the things that we can just speculate that's coming in the future like for example we can obviously expect a new expansion in the future and we kind of already know how this expansion is going to play out because new world has actually already had an expansion once before before the main launch and in that expansion and even after the launch of new world eternum they've kind of followed in the same steps that they took to release the previous expansion we've gotten our gear score raised from 700 to 720 25, which is the exact same thing that they did before they released the previous expansion. So just going off past trends and what the developers have done, we can already assume that the gear score is going to be raised to 800. When they raise the gear score to 800, it's going to be a crazy time to sell gear and weapons. People are going to be paying ridiculous prices just to get higher gear score items at the start of an expansion release. It's going to be crazy. That being said, it's going to be interesting to see how they handle the scaling of raids and other endgame content. In the previous expansion, when they released the new content, it made the previous Sandworm raid completely pointless because the gear score that that raid dropped was still 625 when the gear score was raised to 700. With the launch of New World Eternum, they actually went back and redid some of the raids and endgame content to give you 700 gear score items. But going into the future, it's gonna be very interesting to see if they scale these up once again. or if they're just gonna leave it to be dead content. With the new expansion and with the gear score raised to 800, that means that we're also gonna be getting five more levels. So the max level is gonna be going from 65 to 70, and all the trade skills in New World Eternum are gonna go from 250 to 300. Knowing this information about the trade skills, you can actually start preparing right now to level your trade skills from 250 all the way up to 300. And with this new expansion, we can speculate that New World Eternum is going to grow a little bit bigger. So since the release of New World Eternum, we've had three major updates that kind of brought new areas to the map. The first update was Return to Eternum with the release of Brimstone Sands. This is one of the biggest areas in the game, and in my opinion, overall the most well done area in New World Eternum. Next was the Elysian Wilds update, which actually saw a revamp to a previous area. This particular update didn't actually expand the map which was a major problem for players it was a major feedback issue towards the expansion the next update was the new world eternum launch and with this launch they actually went in and redid cutlass keys cutlass keys was an area that was already in the game but they just revamped it and actually made it useful but one feedback that the players really had with the game was to give us a new area
So we can easily speculate that with the next expansion, the devs are going to listen and actually give us a new area. Now that's kind of everything that we know about and what we can easily speculate that's coming in the future. So let's move on to things that I would personally love to see in the game. I would personally love to see a barbershop put into the game so people can change their appearance after they created the character. It doesn't have to be in every town. Like for example, in Everfall here, I'm in front of this building and this building has no purpose. No one can purchase this building. No one can own this building. There's no way to go into the building and they could easily open this up and use this as the barbershop. Another thing that I would love to see be implemented into the game is a thing called company housing. That way companies could own a big piece of property like a castle or just a mansion or something and then they could sink money into their company house. It would just be one more thing that players could put money into and actually grind towards especially as a team for a company. They could have crafting tables in their company houses and perhaps maybe you get uh, more of a chance to get an extra potion or something by using the crafting table in the company house. I don't know. I'm just pitching ideas but I would really love to see company housing in the future. Another thing that I personally would love to see is a use for the pubs or the bars within New World Eternum. So right now I'm going to walk into one of the main pubs and bars in New World Eternum. This is located in the starting zone and a lot of new players will come in here for a quest line but as you can see it's pretty dead. There's only one other person in here. So a use for the pubs or the bars is they could put mini games in here like blackjack or poker or connect four or chest or checkers and it would just give these tables in this area another purpose for people to come in here um i personally would love to see uh blackjack or poker put into the game and some people uh might argue against that saying that oh gambling can't be put into new world eternum but gambling is kind of already all over new world eternum like people gamble on chess all the time like in the open world trying to get a piece of gear but then people could argue well you don't pay anything uh for that type of gambling is just kind of rng well what about the well of fortune that was just implemented they have a, a crafting station called the well of fortune and you literally pay currency to open a chest for a chance at a piece of gear that you want. It's literally gambling already in the game. You pay currency, you get a chance to win something that you want. It's already in the game. I would actually love to see this in bars and pubs. And also, it would give players another gold sink. They could come here, they could lose it all. They could come here, they could win it all. You know what I mean? It would give rich players a thing to do with their gold. Because right now, a lot of rich players uh, don't really have anything to spend their gold on. So they're just sitting on a lot of money. But yeah, that one player left who was doing his quest and now the pub is literally empty we're getting a little bit of a visual bug there but yeah the pubs are literally empty no reason to come in here i would love to see a purpose for these in the future so one thing that i would actually love to see just updated is there's a quest you get in everfall in this area right here and it's a fairly low level quest you'll get it around level 15 to 20 and this quest is going to tell you to queue up for the 3v3 game mode this is a pvp highly competitive game mode and they're scaling in it so if you're low level you're, you'll scale up to like close to max or whatever and then you basically verse another team at three but there's very sweaty people in 3v3 arena and if you can't hold your own like if you don't know the combat you're gonna get raffle stomp like you're just gonna get pwned and it's not a very good introduction to the pvp it's not really um that fun like don't get me wrong i love 3v3 i enjoy 3v3 a lot but i'm also maxed out my gear's all good to go like i don't gotta worry i can pwn some people but for new players, I would love to see this quest updated to be the OPR game mode, Outpost Rush. This game mode is a 20 vs 20 PvP game mode, and it's kind of like domination. There's three control points. Basically, if you own more control points, you're fighting over them. Um, you get points for owning them. You get points for killing players, but the main points that you're getting is from owning the points of interest in that game mode. I actually have an OPR guide on my channel if you guys are interested, I'll link it down below. Self plug out of the way, I would love to see this quest updated to be this game mode in particular. This game mode also has scaling implemented in it. But you can't do this game mode until you're level 60. And that's a real shame because this game mode is so much more fun in my opinion. Especially for a new player, just to see the chaos, having everybody run around you. Like, it, it's so much more fun in my opinion. It's a little bit easier for a new player to have fun in this game mode because it's a bigger crowd. In a 3v3, you're going to get targeted really easy, especially if they see that you're squishy. You're going to get jumped on right away and killed within a matter of seconds. In OPR, you can kind of hide in the crowd, blend in 
people aren't really gonna jump on you as easy, especially if you're holding back a little bit. It's just all around a better experience for a new player, in my opinion. If you play New World Eternum, you'll notice that in towns, nobody really goes on their mount. Even though mounts got updated in the game and are a really cool feature, and there's some really cool mounts in the game, no one really sits on their mount in town. And you might be asking yourself, why is that? And that's because you cannot dash in the town, meaning that you're stuck at the speed as people normally walking. It's actually faster in town to be in light gear and dodge around than to be on your mount. I would really love to see this change. I'm pretty sure it was like this in Diablo 4, and then they updated it so now you can dash in the town. It would just be a good experience for new players to see people running around on their mount and be like, oh, I want to get that mount. I want that one. How do I get that one? And then they would start grinding for it or they would get it or whatever, right? I would really like to see this restriction lifted and give us the ability to actually dash in the town. The second last thing that I would really like to see implemented into the game is a purpose for the brimstone bathhouse. If you notice when I come in here, it's uh, pretty dead in here. Uh, no one really likes to come in here. It kind of has the same issue as the pubs or the bars. And this is a very unique location. It's literally the only location like this in New World Eternum. And I just really think that they should give a purpose to this place, a reason for people to come in here. Again, a really unique, really cool location that is super underutilized. They could give you like a refreshing buff or something for coming in here. Honestly, I don't really know. Something small, something not necessary, but something maybe worth going out of your way for. Maybe a luck boost or something. I don't really know, but I would love to see more purpose for this building or this room or whatever. Give us a reason to come in here. Give the players a reason to hang out in here. Move the traffic away from the, the storage shed and get them moving throughout the, the settlement. Because right now, everyone really just hangs out at the storage shed. So it would actually be nice to see people moving around the town and because they're all clumped together. You know what I mean? Like there's a bunch of people in the town, but they're just all standing over at the storage shed. And so to see those people moving around the town, going to the pub to play blackjack or poker or connect four or chess or checkers or going over to the bathhouse for the buff or whatever, hanging out in there for a couple minutes. It would just be nice to see people moving around. And last but not least, I would love to see mini games for the trade skills. So right now, the only way to level all of the trade skills is by actually just doing the trade skills. So for fishing, you just catch fish. For wood cutting, you cut down trees. For mining, you mine stones or ores or whatever, right? New World has a really good gathering system, so I don't want them to completely ruin that. But if you look at like a game like Old School RuneScape, New World Eternum is not Old School RuneScape, but in a couple situations, we can kind of pull ideas from there. And for example, the fishing trolley. There's a mini game in OSRS, Old School RuneScape, that is called the fishing trolley. You go there, you jump on this boat with a bunch of other players, and your whole point is to keep the boat afloat. When you keep the boat afloat, you have someone repair the net, you have someone repair the sails, you have people bailing out water, you have people patching holes, and it's just kind of like a whole mini game. And if the boat doesn't sink and you make it back to shore, it's a, it's a short mini game. I think it's like three minutes, four minutes, something like that. Maybe not even. It's, it's a fairly short mini game. But if it makes it back to shore, everyone gets paid out with fishing XP, fish, and you get crafting XP for repairing the boat. So the thing is here is you're getting fishing XP for the mini game, which would be huge to not have to sit here and just cast a rod over and over again. And you're getting crafting XP for repairing the boat which is like not even involved in fishing, but it's just cool to get the extra XP so that way you don't even have to like worry about, okay, well, I got an extra five levels on my crafting while I was here leveling my fishing. Like that's solid. So New World could have mini games or something that would level up your other skills while you're leveling up a main skill, if that makes sense. I would just love to see something like that uh, where all players could work together. You're having fun. You're getting XP for mining, fishing, wood cutting, what whatever it is, right? And you would also be getting XP for like armor smithing or weapon smithing or something else. Well, that's it, guys. That's pretty much everything I wanted to discuss today. We went over the things that we for sure know are coming. Went over the things we can kind of speculate are going to show in the future. And we went over some things that I personally would love to see implemented into the game. If you guys agreed with anything in this video, leave a comment down below with what you agreed with. If you disagreed with anything, leave a comment with what you disagreed with. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And if you watched till this far in the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. All right, I'm Audi. Pa -pa -pa. Peace.